Yes, project estimation. There are simple steps to follow. First, we need to know what is into the scope, what is into the project, and what is not. After that, with the activity list, we'll do time estimations. With time estimations, we can move on and do costs estimation. Once we have the costs and the time estimation, we can prepare a budget. With the budget, we can propose it and have it approved. Yes, you are a happy project manager. Your budget was approved. I'm Christian from Vision 6D, and we are going to look now in more details how to do this. The management of the project scope is the first part in which we define what is into the project and what is not in the project and when to do same. For this, we have the project statement, and here I have the example of a mobile workbench that we built. We built a mobile workbench prototype that can be extended by additional functions and define also the necessary know-how in order to bring this into production. So this was the scope statement in that project. Within the scope, you will also find a description. You will find the key deliverables, in our case, well, the mobile workbench, and the different milestones we expect into the project. Of course, there are assumptions and there are also constraints in the project. And one important point is that it defines also the acceptance criteria for the deliverables of that project. With that, we do what is called the work breakdown structure, in which we represent graphically all the smallest deliverables we have to provide in the project. With the work breakdown structure, it will help us to do for the time estimation the activity list. With the activity list, then we have to define which activity first, which one is next, and for this, we will use a network diagram. Network diagram has as characteristic the critical path. The critical path defines when we'll start the project and when we'll end the project. And for that, we will also have to do duration estimates of each activity in the project. We will also need to define the resources we need into this project. Once we have all those elements, we are then able to develop the schedule of the project. The tool I use to develop the schedule for me is MS Project, Microsoft Project. Once this is done, we can move on into cost estimation. And there we need to know the cost of the different resources. We have resources of type human, we have resources of type material, material to build, and we have resources of type cost. Those can be general costs, they can be administrative costs, they can be licenses, like for software, for example, they can also be fees that we have to pay, and they can be contracts when we are using contractors. There are different types of costs, the direct one, that you can really say this costs and those costs are due to the project, and indirect costs like uh, the renting of the, the factory, the renting of the offices. And one thing that is also really important to keep in mind within costs are the operation costs. Once this project goes into operation. For example, let's admit that we have one software system that we introduce in a production environment. Once the project is running, there will be fees every year for subscriptions, for the licenses, for example. There will also be maintenance costs for the software. So what I see usually is that companies in the case of software, they consider three to five years of operation costs to add into the cost 
estimation of a project. So now we have the costs, we know how long it will last, we have the time estimation, so we can propose a budget. A budget for certain company is just a monetary budget in the sense that it has just cost. For some other organization, they like to have costs of what they need to buy for this project and they usually use internal resources. So they don't cost the internal resources, but they like to know how many hours, how many days or how many months they will need their internal resources. So the budget, it's done. So we need just to propose it and it will get approved. So congratulations, you are a happy project manager and now your project is running. So as you see, those steps are quite simple. When you have a project that is really complex, you have to go through all that. When you are in the case of a more simple project like I did with the mobile workbench, of course that directly developing the schedule is possible directly from the decomposition with the work breakdown structure i could directly enter data into the schedule and the ms project and i do a mix of all the elements necessary for the time estimation in a much simpler way this approach is what is proposed by the Project Management Institute in their PM book. It's the body of knowledge in project management. I have a lot of videos that will describe several uh, of the important key points into what we saw. Of course, you should have seen the basics of MS Project in 20 minutes. This is really important like that you have an overview on how we use the tool to propose a complete project. We have concerning estimation, a series of videos with uh, an exercise where you see exactly how we built the workbench and how we do the estimation. So I really encourage you to go and to dig those different videos. You will also find videos about how to create a work breakdown structure you will have videos about how assigning to tasks resources and of course about the different kinds of resources and how to cost them. With that, it was a pleasure for me to prepare this for you. So you liked it, sum up, share it with your friend, comments and questions are welcome. And I hope to see you soon for the next video. Bye-bye.